Okay, for this project you will need a few things. You will need a USB stick, 4 gig or larger. A 3 gig stick will work, but I've never actually seen one. This is a uh, SanDisk U3 uh, USB stick prepared for the process. Please see the other tutorial. A backup camera, just in case this one starts to fritz out. A battery charger for the cameras. And most importantly, a netbook, preferably the Acer Aspire 1. And the power cord for the netbook. The installation of Windows 7 is pretty intensive and you don't want to accidentally run out of battery power in the middle of it because you walked away. Here we are with our Aspire plugged in. Uh, this is a <coughs> Acer Aspire 1 with a 120 gig hard drive. Actually, it came with a slightly larger hard drive. Uh, it has Windows XP pre-installed, and we will show you that now. And yes, I really do wish I had a tripod for this, or even a unipod. I'm sorry for any shaking. Be thankful I'm not using the Kodak. This camera actually has image stabilization. And there is our Windows XP boot up. Now, in order to get our netbook to install Windows 7 or Windows Vista, depending on which you decide to actually put into the unit, we first need to tell it what drive to boot off of. For this, we need to go into the BIOS our system setup. Okay, I may fail this a few times because I'm looking through the camera's viewfinder, but we power up and we hit F2 as soon as the logo comes up. And this will bring us into our BIOS. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Maybe if I zoom out and just lean in. We need to go to our drive priority, our boot priority, I should say. Okay, that's date time. Okay, one moment while I actually look close enough at the screen to see what's going on. Got a nice zoom in this time. We have our boot menu here, and we've moved this HDD US, uh, USB HDD, let me get my finger out of the way so we'll focus again, up to the number one slot. This machine does that by selecting or highlighting the one you want and hitting F5 or F6 to move up and down the menu. We will now hit our right arrow and we will choose save and exit. Okay, this is very important. I don't know how the EPCs or the other ones respond to this, but for this unit, you want to plug your USB stick into the right side USB connector. Uh, people have had varying success with the other two connectors on the opposite side, but for some reason this unit has a tendency to look for its USB hard drive on the right connector when it starts to boot. 
we now power the unit back on. I'm sorry for the camera moving in and out of focus. And lo and behold, we start the installation process. It's as simple as that. Windows is loading files. Again, I apologize for the uh, focusing in and out. The camera seems to be getting a reflection off the screen and it's not quite wanting to lock on. Windows 7 is asking us what language we want to use. The defaults are just fine. <clears throat> Find our mousey and move it down to the next button. Install now. Setup is starting. And once we get to a menu prompt, I'll be right back. And I said I would take out to the entire thing, so here's the first prompt. It's the, uh, I'd say the end user license agreement. It's kind of like the end user license agreement for the beta version, or the RC one as it were. Next. This is very important, folks. You are going to be confronted with two options. One is upgrade and one is custom. Do not, I repeat, do not choose upgrade. If you're running Windows XP, Windows 7 will not give you a clean upgrade. It will drive you mad. You will choose custom. All right, custom. Now, if we zoom in here and hopefully things are pop up, we will see two partitions. Um, one of them is the primary and the other one is the Acer. Uh, one is 4.9 gig. That is your recovery drive. It is reserved. You could, um, you very well could remove that and regain your 4 gig. Do yourself a favor and don't. Just in case you need to go back to Windows XP at some point, even though it's a little bit of a hassle, Leave that partition in place so you can run the automatic system recovery. Um, you may have to make a few changes in the hard drive to get to it, but you can get to it. So we will choose what partition we want our Windows 7 installation, our Windows Vista installation. Uh, I'm going to choose Disk 0 Partition 2, which is Acer. Uh, 136 gigabytes, uh, so on and so forth. So we are going to go into the advanced options for this, and we are going to choose delete partition. Then we are going to format, uh, select it and format it. I can't do this with one hand, so I'll be right back. After deleting the old partition, uh, we selected the drive and chose next. It is uh, copying itself over, expanding files, which will take a little while, and basically going through the installation process.